Hi. I'm Layla. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Hannah De Campos. This is my sister and our friend from church. They're going to help me out today. Um, I just returned from serving in Singapore and Malaysia for a year and a half. And um, I spoke Malay while I was there, but I mostly had English areas, so I used both languages mostly. Um, and right now I'm just waiting to go back to BYU. I'll go back for spring and summer term this year. So I'm just planning for when I would go back. I'll be studying biophysics. And yeah, that's me. <laughs> They're amazing. They're awesome. <laughs> We're excited for today. She awesome. <laughs> We've got this huge timer on my laptop. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, so today. I just wanted to talk more with both of you about repentance and about what it means to repent and especially to repent every day. So to start off, what comes to your mind when you think of repentance? How would you explain repentance? An ongoing process? Um, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love both of them. Yeah. It's not just a single event. It's not like you repent once and then you're over, like you said. And it's how we can become a new person through Jesus Christ. And that's something that's so cool to me. So I hope that we can learn together today from each other a little bit more about um, how we can repent and how we can repent more every single day of the little things. So to do that, we'll study from a scripture in the Book of Mormon. We can share. So we'll study one verse and we'll go into the different phrases in the verse. It's in Mosiah chapter 3, verse 19. So in this chapter, do you remember what's happening in this chapter? No. no? So <laughs> no. this chapter is King Benjamin, it's when he's teaching the people. So it's like his big sermon about what's most important for them to remember. And this chapter especially is a, about the atonement of Jesus Christ and about why we need it. And so for the first part, Rebecca, can you read from four until forever and ever? Yeah. For the natural man is an enemy to God and has been from the fall of Adam and will be forever and ever. So how do you feel when you think of the natural man? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. You don't like it, yeah? Yeah. What about you, Rebecca? Um, it's an enemy. So not perfect. I'm guessing they don't repent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The natural man, it's like that. It's that thing inside all of us that makes us go against God. It's everything that we need to repent of, right? And I found that a lot of times it's not with big things that the natural man comes out. You know, Satan doesn't get us to go and rob a bank every day. But it, a lot of times it's with the subtle things, with the little things every day. So I want you to think about your daily life and think about times in your day when the natural man comes out. You can think about it a little bit, and then if you want, you can share and discuss more about it. I guess since we're both in high school, we're kind of just desensitized to all the swearing and all the, mm -hmm. especially in like music and stuff. Oh yeah. So, like, I don't care as much mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know, the same for you. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you hear it so much in the hallways. Mm -hmm. And then I remember hearing it a lot on the bus. I don't have a bus anymore. But I remember hearing it a lot on the bus. Mm -hmm. And getting used to it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever try to do anything about it to fix it? <laughs> yeah. I might have once. I don't remember. I don't, yeah. I don't think I ever tried to do anything about it either. Mm -hmm. That's something I wish I could go back and change, right? It's mm -hmm. fun to see 
assumed and kind of knew that it wouldn't make them stop because yeah. it's such yeah. a part of their language now mm. that it would be harder. That's very interesting. That's something I haven't had to deal with being on the mission, yeah. just because I'm always surrounded by good people who don't do yeah. that. Right? <laughs> but that's very interesting, yeah. So keep that in mind as you keep on reading through the scripture and think about how um, you can apply the scripture to overcome that. So, Layla, can you read from unless to become a saint? Mm -hmm. Unless he yields to the enticings of the Holy Spirit and putteth off the natural man and becometh a saint. So he yields to the enticings of the Holy Spirit. Put off the natural man. How would you describe what it feels like to yield to the Holy Spirit? Um, I think yield, I think, like, gives in to you. Mm -hmm. I think... For me, the Holy, the Holy Ghost is often, like I know it's there, but I often say, oh, I don't need to do that, or make an excuse not to do it. So, so whenever I follow what I feel like the Holy Ghost is telling me to do, it almost feels free. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. It feels like a dust of the mind. Yeah. I've seen that as a missionary, you know, when the Holy Spirit is trying to get you to do something, whether it's to share the scripture with someone, or even in my daily life, now that I'm not a missionary, and the Holy Ghost prompts me to serve someone, to be nice to someone, when I yield to the Holy Ghost and just do it is when I feel happy. And part of that is being humble, having humility. And that's something that we just did, right? You looked at your weaknesses and you were humble and you recognized the Holy Ghost telling you where you can do better. Right. And so the Holy Ghost is so important to us, recognizing where we can do to repent and also being excited to repent, not being scared of it. And so what has helped you in the past to be excited about becoming better and excited to listen to the Holy Ghost. When have been moments where you felt that excitement? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like to have people that I look up to, so when I repent, mm -hmm. I feel like I can become more like them, and that can be exciting. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. that. <laughs> That's so good, especially because we're surrounded by our parents, by our teachers at school, but also who's our greatest example. Jesus Christ, yeah. So Rebecca, can you finish reading the next part of the verse? You can just finish at Become as a Child. Become as a saint through the atonement of Christ through the Lord, and become it um, through the atonement of Christ the Lord, and become as a child. Yeah. So what I love about this verse is that it just brings everything back to Jesus Christ, like you said. He's our perfect example. And I want to show you something from this pamphlet. This is one that we use to teach people on mission a lot. So you can share. Can you turn to page six? Wait, that's not six. <laughs> no, that's page six. That's page six. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel when you look at this page? I feel one. How do you think Jesus Christ, going back to what you mentioned earlier about being scared to do something about people swearing at school, how do you think Jesus Christ feels about that? About the swearing at school? Probably upset. <laughs> yeah. A little sad. Yeah. Sad, yeah. And how do you think he feels about you facing that situation? Crap. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> if we do that, yeah. If we yeah. Yeah. change it, yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ, he knows what you're going through. He knows how hard it is, but he also knows that you can do it. And 
That's why the focus of this verse and why the focus of repentance needs to be our Savior. Because if we don't focus on Him, then we're not going to feel that encouragement. We're not going to feel that motivation to do better every single day. And so right now I want you to think about what Jesus would do in the situation that you're in at school. And think about one way that you can change, one way that you can repent this week to be more like Jesus Christ in that situation. Oh, do you have something? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. thinking of offering correction lovingly mm -hmm. instead of ridiculing. Yeah. Is that right word? Yeah. 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 Well, you can think about those, and I can ask you on Sunday how it goes, but I know that if you focus on Jesus Christ and your repentance, that it will bring you joy and it will make you proud. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Oh. <laughs>